We're back for 2022. Happy 2022, Farmer Dave. Now, Philip, how has 2022 started for you? Did you make any New Year's resolutions? Uh, yeah. Um, successfully stay out of jail. Um, maybe learn the TikTok. Um, evade pregnancy scares. Finally read all the DMs in my inbox because I am ready for a collab. I am ready to make 50K off an Instagram post. Um, I convinced Peter Andre to do a 2022 re-release of The Funky Junkie because we are ready for it. Um, oh, and to finally put a lock on my toilet door because I can't believe that I have been sitting on the Thunder Mug toilet stint all these years with without being walked in on. Perry, are you in there? I hope you're not using the toilet, it's broken. Huh? How about you? Um, yeah, my resolution was to solve everyone's problems. Are you ready to problem solve? Hi, I'm Philip with an F. And I'm Farmer Dave, and this is Jimmy. Now, Philip, what are you doing? Um, I am supporting Crocodile Hunter. I want to save the turtles. So, <clears throat> metal straw, one straw at a time. The power is yours! Go you! Saving the world, Philip. Saving uh. the world. <clears throat> oh my god, it's so hot under this hat. Okay, Farmer Dave, what is... The first question of 2022. This is a doozy from Loretta. During the lockdown last year, I stopped wearing underwear. Ever since, I haven't enjoyed wearing them. Is this something that is socially acceptable? Okay, so I watched this riveting documentary called Byron Bays. And in it, the girl said that um, you just don't wear your underwear if you're on a date. Is that how you identify a date, basically? Yeah, wearing if you're heels. wearing heels and no undies, it's a date. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, what the f am I saying? <laughs> I like to hang loose, be full of juice, just, just swing with the wind, and I have had a lot of problems having to wear underwear as well again. It just feels like I've been imprisoned. And after all these lockdowns, haven't we been imprisoned enough? I, I suppose I get your point, but I, is it really the time to start burning our underwear? You should not burn your underwear. The ozone layer is suffering enough. Well, I think my advice is um, wear underwear. It's really important because there are certain things that go on and underwear is your protective layer. That's what I say. Keep the family jewels where they need to be. Protected. Safe secure and it also keeps everyone safe from your covid farts <laughs> science facts yeah it's science because when everyone gets the coronas they lose their sense of smell so then when people fart their covid farts they're actually silent and deadly because people can't smell them coming and that's just like why we have to wear the mask on our face you have to wear your underwear so the COVID farts don't get people. Problem solved. Get your undies back on. Mama Dave, if, if you wanna, wanna be somebody, somebody if you wanna, wanna go, go somewhere, somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. attention. Do you know what that was for? No idea. Well, I'm a triple threat. I'm very good at being a liar, so I'm an actor, could win a Logie. Um, I can auto-tune sing. <laughs> and also, I'm a proper dancing, not a TikTok, like if you're having the stroke. <clears throat> a proper dancer. And I was in the school musical, 
Man of Steel, because copyright Superman, I can do it all. So, we have to have a chat about how you have wasted your fame, you've been on reality TV twice, and you're still not famous, and we're not getting the views on the YouTube, okay? Yeah, I do have a problem, Philip. I could be riding your coattails right now, but I'm doing all the shit shoveling. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I have devised a plan, and I'm going to be your new manager. Okay. Which essentially means I'm the boss of you now. So, I'm right. getting some of my actual real celebrity friends to give you tutorials every week on how to be famous again. Are you ready? I'm so ready for this. Sometimes when you go from a TV star, you have to extend it into other things. And two of my friends from the Real Housewives of Melbourne have now become international fashion festival runway model. Should we get some advice? I reckon they would know exactly what I need to do. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Cherry and Anjali, Real Housewives of Melbourne, now fashion muses and runway supermodels of the world. Give us some tips. How did you transcend from the most popular people on your TV program this season <laughs> no. to the fashion runways? Look, I can only speak from my own exalted experience. Um, but what really helped me, Dave, go from screen to runway is being at least three feet shorter and 10 kilos heavier than any model has ever been ever. That has worked an absolute treat for me. But the thing that has worked against me getting much further in either industry, sadly, is my use of words that have more than two syllables in them. Like, even the word syllable has three syllables. And people find it difficult to get their head around that, don't you think, Chesney? Uh, I'm just confused just looking at you, darling. Um, are headbands really popular in Melbourne? Um, it would appear that they are. <laughs> I'm wearing one, so it's they definitely be. a thing. It's it's definitely a season five Housewives of Melbourne thing. That's for sure. Sorry, my hair is just dying because of the humidity here. We've got you need a headband. You do. He needs a headband. We can send you one. We've got all the contacts in the fashion world. I have. We can sort that. Not a problem. Oh, I'm, I don't know if it will be as fabulous as the ones I could send you. Oh, okay. <laughs> got a headband. Can I ask? So I've got a very serious question for Farmer Dave. You know, such a great start in your professional life by doing the most respected intellectually challenging, seriously regarded job there is, which is reality TV. So the obvious next move is modeling. Other similarities also include that the pay is really quite shite, unless you reach the absolute pinnacle of reality TV. Oh no, just speak for yourself, <laughs> darling. What did they pay you? I mean... Oh my God, I'm gonna tell you. Oh. But I have to say those model types are actually very friendly. They were giving us lots of tips. So basically just show up, show up to a fashion show, Dave. Yep. And um, try your luck. And so an envelope, I should be there if it's being opened. Oh, absolutely. Well, Anything, I mean, it the does opening require... of a, a supermarket, whatever, get it, yourself there. It does require other talents though, Dave. It's like, you, you make it sound so simple. You know, obviously I'm assuming that you're not coming into this conversation unprepared, right? You've obviously got to have gotten plenty of practice ploughing in 10-inch Louboutins, right? Plenty of practice ploughing. Uh, the rest of it, not much experience. Um, mm -hmm. Does modelling also involve bearing yourself only fan style? Because on the runway, we all saw your chuckalina. And then, you did see my chuckalina. And then the next day, your boobas came out and not the child friendly boobas, like the actual full boobas. We saw them. Mm -hmm. I know. I think I'm just, I, it's this newfound appreciation of my female physique. I'm 40 now, so I'm just thinking, let's just make the most of it before it starts to travel further towards my knees. Everything, you know, the fagina and the chesticles, as you call them. I've never seen a fagina like it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, would much rather look at your chesticles and your kukla um, over every time Farmer Dave takes me in the shower on FaceTime. 
<laughs> but Jay, this is this is actually a really really important question. I'm being totally serious now. Do you know how to do the skinny arm? That makes skinny arm, all right. Yeah, that's all skinny arm, Janet. This is a big one, Ange. It is because no, I do know the touch up lady arm. <laughs> these ones, but the skinny. How do you do the skinny arm? So this sounds like really, it's critical to my success. It really is. It really is. Uh, so I wouldn't even begin to describe how to do it, but Cherry's an expert. That's it, after you'd actually done your little exit. Uh, it was, no. would you Would you believe it was Janet oh. teaching us how to do the skinny arm? So, uh -huh. I'm doing it. It's, it's very important. I feel like it's vital to your fashion future. It really is. Yeah, definitely for those static poses and, and a good one to do at the end of the runway. So how do we do this skinny arm? Like, have we got a demonstration? Ooh. <laughs> yes. You turn, oh, you turn the arm around to show the skinniest part of your arm and it's a bit of a sort of contortion. Is this working? Does it look skinny? I mean, it just looks I very... I, I can't see you, you disappear. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. This is, this is amazing. So I've just got to get short, put on weight, um, not use yeah. too many syllables and skinny arm. Um, I just want to say I am so grateful for your insider industry knowledge and sharing it with my new client, my talent, Farmer Day. Such a pleasure. Oh. Anytime. You're the new Max Mox and, and Max manages me and he would be delighted if he knew that you were his protege. <laughs> Whatever I did, whatever I said, I didn't mean it. I just want you back for good. Want you back? Want you back? Want you back for good? We could be the new Kylie and Jason Donovan. <laughs> Do you think so? I I'm going to be the Jason though. Nobody wants to be Jason. <laughs> he had to take a colour coat, okay? That's true. That was a fabulous moment.